In the 1950s, one fear gripped the imagination of the world. Global nuclear conflict was a real and present danger. Billions of lives were at stake. The United States of America was in the middle of an arms race with the Soviet Union. And both sides were trying to grab the advantage. The Americans believed the answer lay in submarines. In the 50s, people get the idea that if you took nuclear missiles, which you would otherwise have in a silo in the ground on the land, and stick them in a submarine, they'd be a lot harder to find and a lot harder to destroy. To achieve this dream, the Americans would have to develop a sub capable of launching nuclear missiles while submerged. In 1958, they took a skipjack-class boat that was under construction and added a 130-foot missile compartment. Inside it, the first long-range Polaris nuclear missiles. We have to remember when the George Washington fires its first missile, you know, this is the era of the Cuban Missile Crisis. John Kennedy is president. He witnesses that first test. And there's a very, very famous note that he writes saying that anybody who witnessed that launch of the first Polaris A-1 would be absolutely convinced that it was one of the most important weapon systems ever created and would immediately sober any of America's enemies. The Washington class were classified as SSBNs. The crew just called them boomers. They could run deep, run silent, run long. On her first deployment, the Washington stayed submerged for 66 days, a world record. More importantly, it could launch a nuclear strike from 1,000 miles. America had stolen a lead in the arms race, and the Soviet Union was in shock. In 1960, for the first time, the Soviet Union can be attacked by surprise by the West just as the Soviet Union was attacked in 1941. And that scares the hell out of the Soviets. Tensions between the two superpowers reached breaking point. In 1962, Soviet deployment of nuclear weapons in Cuba led to increased fears of a first strike. The George Washington, along with five other operational Polaris submarines, were deployed around the island. The world held its breath. In the end, the Soviets withdrew. The George Washington